what is the first thing which every child desperately 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 needs love is overvalued the first thing which every child needs is healthy role models why is love overrated some of you would have experienced that in life you were in love with the person you married that person but then you went through a horrible time can you hear the laughter of pain from some place love is different from compatibility we can be in love with people with whom we will have no peace that is why love marriage is break otherwise why will love marriage break in the arranged marriage people used to first search for compatibility and when there is compatibility love is not there still friendship is there tolerance is there it succeeds love is there compatibility is not there to kya karega love ka achar dalega i love you but i hate you at the same time and you don't know which to believe and the child watches the tamasha my god what is hate what is love morning mama says i love you in the evening she is beating him to death and then she says mere haath toot kyun nahi gaye child is saying please take one decision <laughs> don't confuse me you hate me you like me you want your hands you don't want your hands don't create such confusions in the last 10000 years humanity has improved brilliantly we have created this machine it's called this mic no wire and yet voice is carrying to all of you extraordinary development mobile phones extraordinary development we have captured certain diseases extraordinary development we have created machines which can fly at the speed of 5x sound five times faster than sound extraordinary in science and technology we have made fantastic developments because in science and technology there is something called predictability because i can predict i can develop that's the easy part of life but in last 10000 years human relationships we have not seen any development whatsoever we still have anger we still have greed we still have lust we still carry hatred we still want to destroy we still want to fight what used to be our bane 5 7 8 thousand years ago today also we go through the same thing so that kurukshetra and mahabharat did not end those thousands of years ago even today it is present amongst us because certain concepts of life has been overrated and one of them i believe is love is love necessary absolutely but love is never enough this chair that i have needs four legs three legs will not be enough if there are only three legs to that chair and the fourth is not there or to your chair if only three is there fourth is not there you will not be able to sit comfortably love is highly underrated as powerful by itself it needs enough support it is great but it is not enough i'm not saying love is not required i'm saying love is not enough so i love you and that's not enough the need for respect is greater than the need for love i will discuss that when we come to that point called respect over there in another sheet the need for respect is greater than the need for love look into your life would you prefer to be with somebody who is very harsh but loves you or would you prefer to be with somebody who respects you let's be very honest 
The need for respect is much greater than the need for love. There is no point in being blunt. There is no point in being angry. There is no point in being absolutely like a kut. And then defending by saying, but I love you now. But you know now I am like this only. You know now. And then we tell them, why don't you understand? Why don't you change? No, but you understand. But you change. And fight is on. So let's look at what are those things which a child deeply needs. And I have not written love in this sheet at all. First thing that the child needs, healthy role models. Healthy role models. What do I mean by healthy role models? Tairvai said it right. The qualities that I wish my child to have, can I be a healthy role model for that? My challenge to all parents is this. Can you say there is not a single wrong quality that my child can pick from me? Not a single negative quality that my child can pick from me. Because if I find it difficult to change, how difficult would that fellow be finding? If I cannot change for people whom I love, for whom will I change? If I can't change for people whom I love, then for whom will I change? The child needs healthy role models. That's the oxygen to the child. When it sees around, it should be able to see healthy role models. If it doesn't get healthy role models, it will find a model for itself. Then we can't blame. Then it will find somebody who smokes all the time. Then they'll find somebody who parties all night. Then they'll find somebody who's all the time on WhatsApp. Then they'll find somebody who believes in bunking school and college. Then they'll find somebody who lies. And we say, Hamne to nahi sikhaya. But what you had to teach, you did not. So somebody else came in. The child is ready to learn. It's ready to absorb. Very simple. If I can be a healthy role model to the child, it can be awesome.